Hi, my name is Phil and a warm welcome to Festival TV. When working with a Domino DF500, we can bring a lot of strength and stability to joints such as butt joints, but also joints where you have mitres in as well. And we can do this just by inserting a Domino such as this one, which is a 5 by 30. So with the butt joint, as soon as we introduce two dominoes onto the joint, it means that we can bring a lot of strength to this type of work. As soon as the two go together, it means then we can create a joint which is neat, but also flush with very little marking out. But we can also do the same with joints where we have angles as well. So with this mitre joint, as soon as we have two dominoes inserted into the timber and bring the two together, it then means we can create a joint with a lot of strength and again, stability in a very simple and easy way. So the next stage is to show you how to work with the DF500 and these two types of joints. So we need to jo join these two pieces of timber together. But the big advantage of working with the domino jointing system is that I don't need to use any pencils on the material. Again, the big saving there is that I reduce the amount of marking out but I also reduce the amount of cleaning up that I would need to do at the end of the job. On the Domino DF500, we have this Perspex scale here, so I can use the markings along here to position the machine in exactly the position that I need. But also, on the underside here, we have these two reference points, so we can use these two pins to reference the joint and the position that it's going to be used in. So for the first joint on here, I need to put my first domino at 15 millimetres in from the edge of the timber. And we can work along on the side to that point position here where it's positioned at 15 millimetres, make the first cut. So I can position the domino here and then we can move our way along. So the next stage is to secure the timber down onto the MFT table and then we can make our cut. So that's the first two cuts made. We now need to reproduce those two cuts on the opposite piece of timber. So now we can work on the left-hand side of the machine. So now we can work with the 15 millimeter mark in this position and by using this stop. Now we can put the domino into the material and then bring the two together. And immediately we achieve a joint which is flush on a reference point on the outside edge, but also two faces here which require very little sanding and so therefore again we save a lot of time. So now we can move on to the mitre joint. And again, we need to put two dominoes in this position, but we can use the, the reference points on the machine to make sure we can work quickly and easily. So to make sure we've got a good spacing on here, I can use a reference point with this pin for my first cut, and then because the body of the domino is well finished, we have a machined edge along here and that's the reference point for my second cut. Thank you. 
uh, and again, we can use the left-hand side of the me machine to reproduce the two cuts. So we can insert the two dominoes. And then we can bring the two pieces of timber together. And again, we end up with a joint which is flush on the surface. We haven't had to use any other marking out other than what is available on the Domino DF500. So with this type of system, we can bring a lot of strength, a lot of stability, and also variety and speed into how we work. So I hope this has helped your understanding of working with the DF500, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.